Hello, how are you? It's Rob Cornish from GainHighGround.com and today I would like to show you how to create your first website. Now, over the past few days and weeks I've been receiving uh, a lot of emails and feedback from subscribers and uh, many of you uh, have said, well look, I'm just starting out in internet marketing and I really don't know the first steps, what I should learn or what I should do first. Well, one of the really important skills to, to acquire is really knowing how to create a website. So that's where the inspiration, if you like, came from for this video. So I really hope that by the end of it, uh, you'll find that creating a website is really not anywhere near as daunting or as intimidating as you might first imagine. Um, and I was, you know, I can remember before I sort of created my first site um, back in early 2010, um, you know, it, I was quite really apprehensive actually about doing it, whether I could do it. And I think that if you just sort of keep your mind open and, and acknowledge the fact that we just need to learn a few new things and we're going to take it very, very step by step, then you'll be amazed at how simple this process is. Uh, actually can be. Okay, so let's have a look at the three steps that we need to accomplish today. Well, the first thing is we need to register a domain. So what is a domain? Well, it's really just the name of your website. So in this example, I've got www.mywebsite.com. So we just need to register that website name so it belongs to you and no one else can take it off you. So that's all we're going to do in this first step. Now the next step, we're going to get a hosting account. So what is a hosting account and why do we need it? Well, for your website you'll want to write articles, maybe um, <clears throat> have pictures on your website, maybe even videos like I do at Gain Higher Ground. Um, well, to do that, um, you know, you'll have those articles, pictures, maybe videos, and you'll need to store them somewhere. Well, normally you would store them on a folder on your computer, maybe say on your desktop. But actually, because um, we're creating a website, we need to have those files on the internet somewhere. And the place where we put those articles, photos and videos is actually into a hosting account for our website. So that's all, all that that means really. Um, and It's a necessary step, we have to do it and it's really straightforward. So I'm gonna show you uh, exactly how to do that. The final step is to actually build your website itself. And uh, I'll talk more about this and explain how to do this. And in a way, you know, this is probably can be the most intimidating step before you do it for the first time. But, um, you know, there's some wonderful tools out there that I'm going to show you to, to do this. And it's really just sort of point and click and very, very uh, straightforward. So I think um, we can remove any sort of uh, fear, uh, if you have any, uh, about doing that step as and when we get to it. So um, for now, let's jump onto the internet, get started with registering a domain. Okay, so here I am in Google, and there's lots of different companies online that offer services which allow you to register your domain name, your website name. But there's one in particular that I really recommend, and that's called Namecheap. So I'm gonna go up to the address bar and just go directly to that site. So I'm just gonna type namecheap.com and we'll go through straight to the website. The reason why I like this is it's very cheap and uh, it's just really easy to use as well. I use it for all of my uh, domains. I've got uh, quite a few um, and uh, including gainhigherground.com I, I use Namecheap to register that name uh, as well. Now there's a lot of options but all you really need to worry about is this box in the middle uh, and, and all you have to do is just type in the name of the website that you would like to register. Now this is entirely up to you. You know, if you have a hobby or you've got a specific kind of market or niche uh, in mind, then you might want to choose a name uh, according to that. Um, or if it's just a personal site, uh, then you might want to uh, just put your own name in there if you like. So it's really up to you. But I would like to register um, robcornish.com see we've got .com here but if I click search um, what you'll see is that robcornish.com is actually already taken and it's not taken by me I have to say this is another Rob Cornish out there 
quite scary, isn't it? Um, but basically, I can't own that uh, that domain name, that website name, even though that is my name because somebody else has it. So what I need to do um, is just enter a variation. So if this happens to you, uh, just think about some some variations that you could add to your website name. So <clears throat> for me, I'm what I'm going to do is go Rob Cornish online. Okay, robcornishonline.com and I recommend .com is the most authoritative um, site so um, I, I would definitely go for a .com extension so if I click search okay so this time I can see that robcornishonline.com is actually available now to register a domain name it does cost money um, afraid that's the very few ways around that um, but it's really cheap I mean for a whole year it's nine ninety eight dollars so you know if, if you do want a website this is something that you'll have to face I'm afraid there's not much I can do about it um, but what I'm going to do is actually uh, select that name I'm going to go ahead and register that uh, domain name so all I need to do is go scroll to the bottom and just click on the add to cart okay so you'll see um, it, it gives me the shopping cart uh, I've got my domain here um, it also gives you something called a free who is guard now I was confused by this for quite a while actually when I first started out but what happens is when you register a, a domain name a website name you have to put in a, an address it's a legal requirement that you have to put in your address um, and usually uh, anyone else if they want to they can actually find out what your address is um, but who is God actually protects uh, your address so no one else can find out what it is so you know it's very unlikely that anyone's ever gonna sort of uh, you know look up your address anyway but it just gives you a little bit of extra protection and it's free as well so um, that comes with the package there's a small extra ICANN fee here but the total comes out to ten sixteen dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and register that domain name and uh, just click checkout okay so this is where you have to if you haven't used this before then you need to create your account and if you've already got an account like I have then uh, you just enter your username and password so I'm not going to go through these steps I think it's pretty straightforward um, so you need to create your account and then go forward and pay check out uh, for, for your website name so I'm going to do this now with my account and then come back and we'll, um, we'll continue from there okay so I've entered my details and I'm through to this page here which has just got a few options on it so I just wanted to tell you about these firstly enable who is God you want to check check that so your contact details and like I said your address is protected no one can access it and um, there's something called name server settings we'll come to this in a minute it's very straightforward but for now just accept this option which is uh, use our free name servers and we'll change that later on and um, that's it really so then just click next step and in the payment options you can just go forward and either pay by PayPal if you prefer that or a regular credit card okay so it's exciting stuff because I'm now the owner of robcornishonline.com now if you're following uh, along as well with me then I hope that you're transaction there just went through uh, just as well as mine did if you have got any issues then I can say that the name cheap support is very very good I've used them before and they'll be more than happy to guide you through any issues that you have but um, hopefully everything worked out for you so what I'm going to do now is go up to the address bar and actually let's take a look at uh, the new domain uh, the new website name that I've registered so if I just do Rob Cornish uh, online.com and we'll just uh, go and have a look okay so we can see that 
you know, it's basically a blank page. Welcome, this domain was recently registered at Namecheap.com. Of course, that was me just doing it a few minutes ago. And uh, it's very interesting uh, sponsored listings, Cornish Blue Pottery. Hmm, very nice. So <laughs> um, basically, that's how that's what our website looks like right now. So what we need to do, obviously, is get it looking good um, and uh, have our content on it. So the next step, step two, is to arrange a hosting account. So again, I'm gonna make a recommendation for you here. There's lots and lots of different companies uh, that you can go with for hosting, and it's entirely up to you. You can research this and, and, and choose whoever you like. It's really up to you. But the one I use personally for all of my domains, and um, uh, the one I recommend to you is called HostGator. So uh, I'm going to go to that, HostGator.com. And when you arrive at the HostGator site, the first thing I recommend is just click on this View Web Hosting Plans. So let's go and take a look at that. And uh, it's there's three choices, really. I recommend that you, unless you're really ambitious, uh, then I recommend that you don't uh, even consider the business plan. The choice really is between a hatchling plan and a baby plan. Um, the only differences are that the hatchling plan just allows you one website, so it's only a single domain. Okay, that costs three ninety six per month. So again, you know there's cost involved here, but uh, Hostgator is one of the cheaper options, and uh, I. I think their support and the whole service is really good, so that's why I'm recommending it to you. Um, so $3.96 a month, or you can pay $6.36 a month and have unlimited domains. Now, it's up to you. When I first did this, um, and I've used HostGator uh, since I started online, I actually went straight for the baby plan. Um, and just because, you know, it's probably quite likely in the future you'll want to set up more domains and more websites. So just thinking ahead, you might want to opt for the baby plan, but it's entirely up to you. So all you need to do is just go to Order Now, and you've got a choice. You can actually, the HostGator does allow you to register new domains, but we've already done that at Namecheap. So I currently have a domain here and you enter the domain name. So I'm just going to type in robcornishonline.com and continue to step two. Okay, so again, we're back at the uh, kind of billing information page. Obviously, you need to, uh, if it's your first time, you need to uh, set up an account with HostGator. So just fill out the information. I already have an account here, as you know. So. I'll leave you to do this if you're following along and um, I'll see you in a minute uh, when I've uh, logged into my account. Okay, so if you're following along you should have received an email from HostGator and in that email it will firstly confirm your purchase of your hosting account and secondly it will also give you some login details for what's called your control panel or cPanel, it's sometimes called cPanel. And um, all it is really, the, the cPanel or control panel, is really just an admin area, a sort of control area for your hosting account. And that's what you're seeing on my screen right now. Now there's tons of options here, it can be quite overwhelming, but there's good news because you'll probably use four or five percent of the features here you, you really really don't need to worry about hardly any of these uh, options at all so that's the good news 